The month of May historically is a switch from the low inventory spring market into the slower summer months where inventory levels rise. We experience longer days on the market and prices stabilize. Stay tuned for the next few minutes where we're going to explain what is actually happening in the Milton real estate market. With average sale prices in Milton being flat over last month, we are seeing the average price for a Milton home sitting at $1,117,000. The average days on market has decreased to 13 days from listing to a sale, making it quicker to sell your home last month. And the list to sale ratio has increased to 106%, meaning on average, buyers were paying 6% more than the listed price for the month of May, which is up 5% from the previous month. We have seen a noticeable shift from the first half of May to the second, specifically in the townhouse and semi-detached market segment. A notable surge of inventory in this segment is playing a large role in the price jockeying and failed offer nights we are currently experiencing. There were double the number of townhomes and semi-detached properties offered for sale this May over the previous month. The increase of supply has shifted this segment of the market. We've seen many properties in this category that are being positioned for multiple offers by listing artificially low, and the offer night doesn't go as they had hoped. Some properties are not receiving any offers at all on offer night, or they're simply not reaching the seller's expectations. With the sharp increase of inventory, buyers now have choice again, and many homes that are holding offers on the same day are splitting the buyer pool even further, resulting in sellers not consistently achieving the results they once were. They are then forced to switch gears and are relisting the property at a higher price and choosing a different pricing strategy. In a shifting market, it's exceptionally important to be working with someone that knows the market and can identify the shifts, pricing strategy, and current demand in any market segments, giving you the advantage over other buyers and sellers. The condo apartment market segment and detached segment of the market have remained consistent over the last month and much more predictable, giving buyers and sellers much more confidence. The average price for a condo apartment in Milton is sitting at $650,000, which is flat over last month. And the average price for a detached home in Milton is sitting at $1,373,000. And it was eight days quicker in the month of May to get a successful sale. Interest rates also play a large role in buyer confidence in our market. So the rumblings from the media about rates has likely also halted some buyers from making decisions over the last couple of weeks. The Bank of Canada's scheduled meeting on June 7th did in fact result in an increase of the overnight lending rate, which is now sitting at 4.75%. If you have a variable rate mortgage product or home line plan, your payments now have once again gone up. The Bank of Canada is taking this step to tackle the high inflation. It is worth noting that many buyers in today's market are now preferring fixed rate products. Unlike variable rates, fixed rates are not linked to that overnight rate and remain unchanged for the duration of their term. This rate announcement largely affects buyers more on a psychological level than a financial one, as fixed rate products offer a stable alternative that many of our buyer clients are opting for in today's climate. The next scheduled announcement for the Bank of Canada is scheduled for June 12th. If you're feeling overwhelmed by these interest rate changes, please know that there are options available. Our trusted mortgage brokers can work with you to develop a plan that may provide some relief. Connect with us below if you're thinking of buying, selling, or investing in the Milton market. We would love to help you on your real estate journey.